Hey friends, it's Becca here. Today we are working in the garden and we got a 40 pound rainbow carrot haul today. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of the differences in some of the carrots I pulled up. So we've got um, the purple, cosmic purple, uh, Scarlet, Nantes, and Danvers, and then I had a rainbow mix um, from I think Renee's, Renee's rainbow mix. So there's some other um, ones in there. Our favorite is actually the purple dragon um, and it was really hard to get that seed the last two years um, with everything that's been going on and the price of that has gone dramatically through the roof. So uh, we went with uh, the cosmic purple this year um, and this was actually the biggest one I grew. Look at this thing. It's huge. Cray cray. So um, another thing I noticed was this is supposed to be a cosmic purple and it has um it's supposed to be yellow on the inside this one didn't get as much purple coloring i think because when i pulled it up see how there's a bunch of green tops this one was missing a bunch of green tops probably from the birds which didn't allow the purple color to develop all the way through so that's my guess on that one um, it ends up looking like a, a turnip or a rutabaga, which is kind of cool looking. But I think that's really what happened with that carrot. And I did pretty good on my spacing. I only got one pair of carrot, uh, one carrot that ha looks like it's got legs and like little carrot pants. They're so cute. They look like they're dancing. Super fun. And um, this is the Danvers carrot. It makes like a short, fat little carrot. This was really good. I think I would grow this again. We got the seed um, from the local feed store. And ah, I thought it was really sweet. Very fresh eating yummy carrot. I like that one. I would grow that one again. I don't know if this one tastes different because it doesn't have the purple color. So I was kind of curious about that too. I'm probably going to turn into an Oompa Loompa because I've been eating so many carrots the last two days. Very mild, doesn't have much carrot flavor, I think because it didn't develop that purple. Here's a little purple one, that's supposed to be a cosmic purple, which actually I think these are like a yellow and then an orange. It's like very, yellow in the very center, then orange and then purple. So this one I feel like has a little bit more earthy carrot flavor over the purple dragon which has a sweeter carrot flavor still really good but definitely different um <laughs> and then our scarlet nantes a lot of them ended up growing and looking like fingers or they had like a little wave to them and i'm wondering if that's because Maybe we didn't fertilize as heavily as we maybe should have. Um, we did put down black cow manure and composted chick manure and leaf mold. But I don't think we put enough. Nice sweet carrot. Nice and crisp. I like that one a lot. Um, I'm just going to show you guys. So we got 40, 40 pounds. Here's all my little ones in the bowl. I have several bowls of these this size. I'm not sure what size bowl this is. I was trying to figure that out. So about, I think I can fit about three-ish pounds of carrots in here. And last night I was able to can up eight pints. So I just uh, pressure canned them for 25 minutes um, with uh, Berkey water and there's no seasoning or anything like that. That way I can just add them to whatever we're doing. There's no salt. You don't need to put salt when you're pressure canning. Um, that's just kind of an option. So I got eight of those out of one bowl. So I've got at least two more-ish bowls to do to can up today. So we'll see how far I get. And then we only had a few issues with a couple of carrots. Looks like a grub. I found a few grubs when I was digging. And so there's a few carrots that had maybe five carrots where they were like either... Um, eaten or I had a couple that were split which I think I already gave to the chickens 
had a couple where they were split in half and I think that was just maybe some inconsistent watering even though um, we do have drip lines I watered overhead a few times and I think I inconsistently watered and I think that's why um, some of them had some splitting so I think the carrots came out pretty good this year other than that I feel like they just were I think the cosmic purple is definitely shorter than the purple dragon um and I've grown them where they were definitely longer but most of the carrots we got this year um were a little shorter than they usually are and we tilled up really good so not sure what happened there but um So I got them all bagged up and ready to go for people. And we've got some seedlings, tomato seedlings for sale here on our farm stand. Some pickles, relishes, blueberry jam, loofah. We picked a beautiful tomato this morning. And some, we only have a little bit of little ones left with some loofah. But uh, I'll see if I can take you guys, that's my pile I'm working on. Take you guys out back real quick. It's a short row. I think it's only how far? Is it? How long? That row is only what, like 22 feet? Well, let's say 22 feet. Peace. Um, so this right here, we had three drip lines with rainwater here and I had four ish rows of carrots right and so it's about 22 feet long and we harvested uh, 40 pounds of carrots which apparently I missed a couple I dropped one but I did pretty good and the chickens got some grubs and some carrot tops and that's that's that we're gonna release them out a little bit to clean that up and uh, that's it, just a little backyard. We got a tenth of an acre. Got some Swiss chard, collard, kale, garlic, and onions. Broccoli, rutabagas, beets, more kale. I got a tomato cage I'm working on. Um, today I got a few more tomatoes I need to plant out. And we planted some tomatoes in here. The Arkansas Traveler. And I'm working on getting the other ones big enough to plant in here. Okay. I'll be fun to share with you guys um, before I get canning here. Uh, how many carrots you can get out of like a little backyard? Um, it's a 22 foot row of uh, four rows of carrots that we started to seed probably close to the second week of November. Um, and then we are now in the, towards just after Valentine's Day in February in 2022, and we harvested 40 pounds, which was really cool. I don't think I've ever weighed out our carrots each year, which I probably should have. And this is the second year in canning, so I think we, I just really wanted to um, have some more carrots because I like soup and different things and I like having um, the baby carrots canned up. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on our harvest haul, kind of the taste of the carrots that we grew this year. Um, love to know what you're growing. Put it in the comments below. Love to find out if there's another variety that you like that was really sweet or tasty that grew really well. I know we had some white and yellow carrots in that rainbow mix, and those did pretty good. The yellow are really sweet. I like those, but I think it's hard to find just a package of the yellow seed carrots to grow. I think they only kind of come in a mix, and if they sell them individually, they're usually sold out. But I do like the yellow ones, too. So that's it. Thanks for stopping in at uh, Becca's by the Bay, our little homestead here by the sea, and we'll see you in the next video.